Hello everyone! In this lesson we are going to describe IP addressing. IP address is the element of the network layer, so we can call it L3 addressing. In network layer we have a lot of network protocols including IP version 4 and IP version 6. In this video lesson we'll describe in details IP version 4 address and we'll have a short overview of IP version 6 address. Let's start from the IP version 4 addressing. IP version 4 address consists of 32 bits and it is divided into 4 octets and represented in decimal form. For example, IP address which is looking like this. As you see, this IP address is represented in decimal form and it is divided. It has 4 divisions 1, 2, 3, 4. Each division is divided by the dot and each division is called octet, so we have 4 octets. And inside each octet we have by 8 bits or 1 byte long. Totally we have with you 32 bits. IP address consists of two parts. Uh, one part is called network part. Another part is called host part. So uh, let's imagine uh, what is the network address and what is the host address is inside the IP address. Uh, let, let's have such kind of example that uh, that our IP version 4 address is split into two parts and uh, let us say the division is done right from here. So the, the part from the left side will belong to the network and the side from the right side will belong to the host part. What do we have to know about the, the network and the host part? How we can make comparison with our life? Imagine that we have a group uh, which is called 4A03. And this is the group name. Inside this group we have different people like Beric, Sirik, Yerik and let us say Jurik. So these guys are, are the participants of the single group for A03 and when you write the name of each of them you have to write uh, their names including with their uh, group names. For example, for A03 dot Beric, for A03 dot Seric, and Eric, and for A03 dot Jurik. From here we may find out that the part which is uh, placed from the left side, we have one, two, three, four symbols from the left side, which is same in each uh, name of the person. It means that these people are inside one group. But in case if you will see something like this, then you can define that this and this addresses are different so this guy is from different group so the network address network address we can compare with the group name and the names of the people inside this group we can compare with the host so that if you have a participants inside the group, all of them inside single group, all of their uh, names will begin uh, with the common name, like a 4A03 with the group name. And the rest part has to be unique inside the group, because you don't have to have such kind of situation like you'll have 4A03 dot and Beric, and one more time, 4A03 dot Beric, because you have to distinguish them. 
how host and network address are separated from each other uh, we have such kind of element which is called the prefix prefix is written right after the IP address so and uh, for example if you have prefix 24 what does it mean it means that 24 bits from the left side belong to the host to the network part and last 8 bits belong to the uh, to the host part for example here we have such kind of division we have 8 bits here 8 bits here and 8 bits here so prefix 24 defines that we are taking from the left side 24 bits so if we'll count them so we'll have as you 24 bits and the last part last 8 bits will belong to the host part what does it mean it means that our network address is looking like this by itself all right so this is like uh, the same as we we wrote here the name of the group for AO3 without any name so we write 192.168.10.0 uh, so it's going to be our network address and dot 10 is going to be our host address it's like you know we have the situation like we have the the name of the person which is looking like this for a o three dot beric so we'll just uh, place them in on the single uh, level so it's given to us after what we we found and we had here the prefix which was four which is defining the four symbols belong to the uh, network part so we, we define it here the network address this is uh, one level and our name our host address is going to be that beric this is also a single level also um, if you will have uh, an IP address which is given to you which is looking like this 192.168.10.12 uh, with prefix 24 you can immediately understand that your network address now is 192.168.10.0 this is going to be network address and our host address is going to be looking like that uh, 12. what if prefix will will not be 24 but uh, what if the prefix will be uh, a different value like 23 so then uh, we will uh, take a look for this 10 in the binary form so uh, first of all before we'll continue this lesson uh, with the calculating the IP addresses uh, let's take a look for how we can convert from the decimal to binary and let's first of all take a look what kind of elements do we have in decimal so in decimal we have 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 and 9 whereas in binary we have with you values 0 and 1 so in case when you have uh, a given decimal number like uh, 5 so I, I'm writing here 10 because this is like a decimal which, which has that uh, 10 symbols and if we will want to convert it to the the binary so like I'll write here 2 2 because we have two elements uh, what I have to do so we have uh, different types of different methods of converting from decimal to binary and vice versa first of the method is called the divide by 2 if we want to convert with you the value which was given to us 5 in decimal and we want to convert it to the uh, binary 
in case we, if we are using the the first approach let's which is divided by two then we have to take this five and, and start to divide it by two the result will be of the division uh, five by two will be two and reminder will be one next we will divide two by two in which we will have the value uh, the result is going to be 1 and reminder will be 0 when we will divide 1 by 2 our result will be 0 and our reminder will be equal to 1 after what we have we don't look for these values now uh, we are looking for the reminders and we are placing these reminders in this sequence like we'll place this is going to be first this will be second in a row and this value will be third in a row so one zero one in binary has to be equal to five in decimal uh, how to check is it correct or not we can do it in a couple of different ways first of all uh, we can get this value like 1 1 or 1 and place nearby each bit so this is single bit single bit and single bit we have to place here the values which are looking like this 2 to the power of 0 2 to the power of 1 and you are just continuing 2 to the power at and incre increasing the 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 power of uh, by 1 each time 2 to the power of 2 then uh, you will get you will calculate these values and 2 to the power of 0 and any value to the power of 0 will give you the result as 1 2 to the power of 1 is equal to 2 2 to the power of 2 is equal to 4 now we will take off these values and we have these values 1 and, and, and you will do what? you will multiply this row to this row you will make a multiplication after the multiplication you will get the result 1 multiplied by 1 will give you 1 2 multiplied by 0 will give you 0 4 multiplied by 1 will give you 4 after what you will get this row and you have to make a sum of this row so the sum of this row will give you 4 plus 0 plus 1 equal to 5 so this is our result and uh, it is same as our given so that we check it out and it is working um, sometimes or maybe usually in our course it will not be uh, the suitable way to use division by 2 because uh, it will take a long time if you will get value for example like 121 then you have to divide 121 by 2 then the, the rest part uh, the result you have to divide by 2 and it, it, it will take a long time another method of how you can div uh, of how you can make a con convertation from decimal to binary and vice versa it is uh, also not the best way but I have to show it to you follow the sequence So like uh, if you have a decimal value 0 and 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5 and if you need to find what will be the decimal value, uh, what will be the binary value of, uh, of the decimal 5 then you have to just follow the sequence. It is not the best way as I mentioned before but it's like a counter you know 0, 1, 0 0 1 1 uh, 1 0 0 and 1 0 1 so look this is our result 1 0 oh, 1 and it is same as the result which we found before so if you need to find 121 then you have to write 121 sequences it is also as I mentioned before not the best way of how you can find the uh, of how you can make the convertation from binary to decimal and vice versa 
so that is why uh, I also I'm not recommending you to use uh, the second uh, method too and I recommend you to to use the method which is called uh, the mapping Uh, in mapping you have to have a table uh, by by using which you will make the mapping actually and the convert from decimal to binary and vice versa uh, as I mentioned before each bit uh, has its own value uh, and these values are represented from the right side to the left side if you have a single bit uh, then you have its value to the power of zero if you have two bits second bit will have 2 to the power of 1 and so on so you will increase to, uh, the power of by 1 each time 2 to the power of 4 and 2 to the power of 6 and 2 to the power of 7 so we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 so I, I, I just forget about one of the bits sorry to the power of 5, to the power of 6, and to the power of 7. So now we have with you 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 bits. Why did I write this, uh, the 8 bits? And it is quite enough for me because, uh, as I mentioned before, each octet consists of 8 bits. So the maximum value which we will uh, make the mapping and calculation in IP version 4 will be the value of 8 bits. So that, uh, and if we'll just uh, make this uh, calculations two to the power of zero and so on, it will give us the result will be one, two, four, eight, and you you, you can see that it is systematically growing up, like uh, by multiplying by two. So two multiply by two, four, four multiply by two, eight. So next 8 multiplied by 2 will be 16, 32, and 64, and the last one will be 128. Uh, well, now, if you want to have the value of the, if you want to find a binary value of decimal 5, you need to just make the mapping, or, or how you can make the mapping. Now we don't need uh, this part, we just need the table which is showing us this uh, values of the bits. And we have to start the comparison this value 5 with uh, the first uh, element with the first bit. If 5 is greater than or equal to this uh, value of bit, then you will make a subtraction from 5 to this value but if this value is lower um, than the value of the bit then you just skip this uh, step and go to comparison with the next value of the bit and go to comparison for the next value of bit and go to comparison with the next value of bit and you will just skip it till the 4 okay so that if you are not making any subtraction then you will just place here zeros and when your subtraction is is going to be started, then you will do it in this way. Uh, 5 minus 4 will give you, uh, re a reminder will be 1. And now you have to make comparison of this one with the next value of 2. And you just skip it to the next value. And 1 subtract 1 will be a 0. So when your result is going to become 0, then your calculation is going to be stopped. So look guys, in, in, in those bits where, where you are making the subtractions, you have to just place a once. All right, and now we can find out that our value and, and what we, we are going to do next, we'll just take the sum of this row so that we will have, uh, and by the way, first, first of all, sorry, we'll make, uh, we will make a multiplication between this rows, uh, between this row of the value of the bits, with the the row which we found here, where we place it once in in those bits where we had the calculations. 
So now we have 1 multiplied by 1, which will give us 1. 2 multiplied by 0 will give us 0. So all the place where we have the zeros uh, by default will give you 0. And 4 multiplied by uh, 1 is going to give you 4. And after what we'll get the sum of this row so that it will give us the result is going to be 5. So the best uh, practice of converting from decimal to binary and vice versa, I recommend you to use uh, the mapping. And now we'll take a look for another example, which will be uh, not just 5, which will have, uh, I don't know, so let's take, take a look for the value, which will be uh, 151. And uh, we have to take 151 from decimal and we have to convert it to the binary. So what will be the value in the binary? Uh, and again, we'll just begin from the map. Uh, and to make a mapping, we have to take a look for this table. So I, I'm just writing the values of bits because I, I just remember the logic of it. But if you, do, if, if you, if you forget about it, th then you have to imagine that 2 to the power of 0, 2 to the power of 1, and so on. And as a result, we have uh, 1, 2, 4, 8, uh, 16, 32, 64, and we finish with 128 because it is giving us 8 bits, which is uh, representing a single octet. And now we have 151. So what we have to do, we will start to make a subtraction from 151, uh, the values uh, with the values of bits. So we will just compare if 151 is greater than or equal to this value, then we have to make the subtraction. So 151 subtract 128. So as a result, we will have with you the values like three, and here we have uh, two, and as a result, we get the 23. Now our result is 23. We have to make comparison of this 23 with this value. If 23 is greater than or equal to 64, then we'll make subtraction. If not, we'll skip this step. And again, 23 is not greater than or equal to, then we just skip it till 16. And now 23 subtract 16. As a result, we have with you the value of uh, 7. And I think that this is just 7. And now we'll make a comparison of 7 with this value. And uh, 7 is less than 8. Then we have to skip it. And next we'll have uh, 7 minus 4, which will give us a result of 3. We have to take the 3 and we have to make comparison uh, of our 3 with 2. So 3 is greater than uh, 2. Then we'll place 3, subtract 2, where we'll have with you value, and the result is going to be 1. And 1, compare with 1. 1 is not greater than, but it is equal to, to 1, so that as a result we get 0. Our calculation is finished out. Now, on uh, we have to place 1s uh, nearby this uh, bits on which we had the calculations of the subtraction. So look, we had the subtraction on the first bit, I mean on the on the eighth bit, because first bit is here, and uh, we'll just place here one. Here we didn't have any subtraction to zero, we didn't have any subtraction here, it is zero. Now we had here a subtraction, it is one, and we had here, we didn't have subtraction to zero, and we had subtraction here, one, one and one. Then we we uh, expect that this value in the binary uh, it has to be equal to uh, 151 in decimal. Now let us make a convertation back. So we found uh, uh, we made up calculation from decimal to binary, and now we have to check is it correct or not. How we have to check it out. We'll just place again these values 1, 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, 64, and 128. 
and we have to call uh, multiply uh, these two rows as a result we'll have with you 128 16 1 multiply by 4 4 2 and 1 and after that we have to take the sum of this uh, row and it has to give you so let's make calculation from the beginning 128 plus 16 which will give us the value of 4 and uh, 3 and 4 and 1 and after what we have to add 4 it is giving us 148 and next 2 plus 2 which is giving us 150 and plus 1 which is giving us 151 so by using this method you will be uh, you will uh, lose as much less time as possible so that is why I recommend you to use this approach of the convertation from decimal to binary and vice versa why it will be required for us uh, I mean this convertation you will take a look for the uh, next example and you will understand why it is required to us now let's take a look uh, for an example in which we will uh, have with you uh, given IP address 172.16 and uh, let us say 10 and 10 with the prefix uh, of a 2023 so previously we had with you example in which uh, sorry in which uh, we had prefix 24 at that moment when our prefix is 24 you can easily calculate what will be the network address because you had a uh, uh, division like this and division was uh, between two octets but in case when your network is when your uh, IP address is divided to host a network part uh, not between the octets but is divided inside the octet like with the prefix 23 in this case you may uh, you may face some issues so if your prefix is 23 then uh, where where this 23rd bit is uh, placed so for example here we have 8 bits here we have 8 bits uh, here at when our 16 is finished uh, we use 16 bits if you will get uh, eight more bits so then it will give you a 24 but you need to find the 23 it means that if uh, after 16's uh, value you have 16 bit and after 10's value here uh, so let, let me place it here you have 24 uh, 24's bit so it means that bit number 23 is placed between this uh, so inside the octet number 3 so to find the value I mean to find 23rd bit you have to open this octet and how you can open it you can open it and represent it in the in the binary form so that we can just find uh, what will be the value in the binary of 10 and again look we will use this uh, table many 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 times so that is why I recommend you to remember the logic of how you can create this uh, short and basic table starting from 1 and multiply by 2 each time and um, and after what we will just find what will be the 10 8 plus 2 will give you 10 other part look is uh, looking like zeros so if you will make the summary calculation of this row you will find that 8 plus 2 will give you 10 value now I'll, I will write here the the representation of third octet in the binary form um, so that it will be 0 0 0 0 1 0 1 0 I mean this value and the next value I can write also in the binary form I will just write it 
and because they are the same I don't need to make any calculations one more time so now look uh, I have to place a marker where our network address is uh, split from the host address part so here we have 8 bits 8 plus 8 16 so this bit uh, bits number is 17 18 19 20 21 22 and 23 so it means that this bit belongs uh, so it is it, its sequence number is 23 so if our prefix is 23 it means that after the 23rd bit we have to place a marker which is defining that the left part belongs to the network portion and the right part belongs to the host portion so that the left part the network portion has to be static it cannot be changed because uh, it is like a group name group name is not uh, cannot be changed but the names inside group can be changed and uh, now we can write uh, this thing like our network address our network address is looking like if we'll convert it into the decimal form uh, then it will be looking like uh, 192.16 if we'll convert this value into the uh, decimal form it will be 10 and uh, a rest part will be will become so that part which is on the host portion uh, will, will become all of them will become zero if we want to find the network address so this is network address let me write here network address network address uh, is the first combination first combination in host part So like uh, the very first combination in the horse part will be looking like 0 dot 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 this is the very first combination like you just uh, make zeros on the counter counter so then your counter will be looking like this and your your uh, beginning of the network address uh, will be looking like this Mm -hmm. But you don't have to forget that I even if you place here the marker, I mean the red marker, uh, so this is still one octet. But this octet is just divided into two parts. Now one part of this octet belongs to the network part, another part of this octet belongs to the host part. Now uh, I want to tell you also about uh, about the broadcast address. So network address defines the the network, okay? Like a group name defines the group, and the broadcast address is the last combination inside the, the host portion. So that uh, what kind of combinations do we have? Uh, how how uh, how many hosts and how many combinations do we have uh, right after the the marker? So look, next combination will be looking like this. It's like a counter, you know, like a zero that one, two, three, four, five, six, uh, seven, eight. Next value will be zero, one, two, three, four, five, uh, six, seven, eight. And uh, so let me continue with the marker. And this part, look, guys, this part is a static. It cannot be changed because if it will be changed, the group will be changed. But inside single group, it is not changing and if we'll continue with you guys at the end we'll have with you value like one one two three four five six seven eight this will be the last combination so look this is the first combination inside the host portion first combination and it is belonging to the network part I mean network address it is describing the network address and the last combination so this is the very last combination inside the host portion 
uh, it is defining the, the specialized address which is called the broadcast address broadcast address uh, now it's time to describe with you what is the the broadcast address uh, is used for after what we'll continue with you with the calculations and by the way by the way are uh, all of other combinations uh, so starting from here and ending with here so l let me define here what will be the pre last combination one that one two three four five six seven and eight all of these combinations uh, uh, can be used for hosts so you can use so uh, a lot of IP addresses inside the single network address because you have so many combinations but you have to remember that the first combination is not useful by hosts because it is already used by the network address it's like no one can say that uh, from students I'm for a 3 okay but uh, someone can say that I'm for a 3 dot Beric whereas Beric is the combination uh, from here and this value is just the network address so let, let me let me define it like this and what is the broadcast address is used for so uh, let me show you an example from here uh, in case uh, when you have a topology like this uh, so you have computers a b c and d and these computers are interconnected with the switch and as you remember uh, the functionality of the switch is like switch can redirect the communication from one computer to another one so when we have communication from A to B uh, switch is just resending this information out of this port uh, this type of communication is called the the unicast unicast communication is from one host to uh, one host okay from one to another one host uh, also we may have such kind of situation like uh, when computer A wants to communicate with computer uh, B and also it is going to communicate with computer C so in this way computer A will send a one uh, packet to the uh, one frame to the switch and switch will redirect it to both sides to B and to C. So this group communication is called the multicast. Multicast it is a communication from one to many. And also we may have communication like from A to B, C and D or let us write to to all other. Okay? So then this type of communication is called the broadcast. Broadcast this communication from one to all participants inside the network so that com uh, switch will resend this frame to all directions excluding that port from which it is received the communication from A. So that uh, in case if your computer wants to part to to send uh, a single message to the switch, so that switch will uh, repeat this message to all other hosts, then your computer A has to send information to the broadcast address. And in our situation, in our example, so this is the broadcast address, and the broadcast address is the last address inside the host portion, so that. Uh, if we'll write from the beginning, it will be like 16 and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, uh, sorry, 5, 6, 7, and 8. So that uh, if we will convert now with you, so you don't have to forget, let me tell you one more time, that this is the single octet because uh, it is divided by dots but it is the single octet is split into two parts one part is in the network portion another part is in the host portion but it is same uh, it is still uh, uh, the still single octet 
now uh, we can make uh, a convertation back from the binary to the decimal so that if we we'll, if we want to see how will be looking like our network address it will be looking like this uh, so look we convert this from binary to decimal it will be so if we'll take a look for this map actually it is showing us that this is 10 10 and all of them zeros zero zero well this is network address what will be equal to broadcast address uh, the beginning will be same one seven two one six and uh, this value look it was 10 before because we had here zero now this part be, uh, is looking like one so if we will write uh, now new value of our broadcast address it will be like one one zero one so and if we'll make uh, if we'll take some of them then it will be like one plus two which will give you three and plus eight which will give you eleven so our broadcast address is going to be eleven on third octet and the last octet will give you value of uh, so if you uh, make such kind of mapping Mm -hmm. So that if you if you multiply all of these values of bits to these ones, and if you will make this uh, sum, believe me, you will get value 255. So at the end, you will get the value of 255. So this will be the broadcast address. So look, uh, network address and the broadcast address. So look, I placed them in the frame they are not useful addresses uh, you can't assign them to any computer or let's say let's say globally to any host because they are busy so that network address is busy to describe the single network and the broadcast address is busy to describe the broadcast address so that if your computer A, so imagine that now you have uh, such kind of topology and uh, your computers are interconnected in case when computer A wants to have communication from A to all your computer A will send the packet in which it will have source IP address let us say 172.16.10.11 so this will be source IP address 172.16.10.11 and destination IP address if if he wants to send information to all hosts then destination IP address will be 172.16.11.10.11 255 this is going to be the broadcast address so that computer a sends a single packet single frame to the switch and switch resends this information to all hosts so that is why it's called the broadcast and uh, now let's take a look for another examples uh, maybe you didn't get this idea so that uh, after you will solve after you'll repeat what uh, to uh, and write those things which I'm writing right now I, I hope that you will get this idea so uh, as as an example we'll have with you the values like 111 and 222 and uh, 17 and 25 with prefix and let's change the prefix let's increase it uh, from 23 and let's make it to be the 27 so now uh, now we can see that this value so so look uh, after each octet uh, or under each octet we may write what uh, how many bits do we have so when when you have the division of the network address right from here then then it is eight bits for the network address when you have division from here then eight plus eight will give you 16 bits so and here if, if it will be divided right from here 
then it will be 24 and at the end at the end uh, it is 32 so 27 value is uh, between 24 and 32 what does it mean it means that uh, you have to search 27 bit uh, which is dividing the network address with uh, and and the host address uh, we have to search it from the first for, from the fourth uh, octet so what does it mean? It means that you have to write 111, you have to 222, and you have to write 17. And after what, you have to find the binary value of prefix uh, of the of the decimal 25. So that again, you will just write this uh, table: 16, 32, uh, 64, and 128, and you will just make this mapping. So that 27 uh, is uh, greater than 16, and you will just place one here. So, uh, or if you wish uh, me to write uh, all the steps uh, in details, so let me start to do it. We'll just uh, compare 25 with this value. So, if 25 is greater than or equal to 128, then we'll make subtraction. If it is less than this value, then we we'll skip it, this step, and skip it one more time and skip it to the 16. So, 25 is greater than 16. So, what we have to do, we have to just uh, subtract from 25, uh, 16. As the result, we'll get uh, the result will be 9. Next, we'll take this 9 and we'll make a uh, comparison. Is 9 is greater than or equal to 8? Yes, it is so. Then 9 subtract 8 will be 1 as the result. And we'll just uh, make comparison with the 4. We we'll skip it to 2 and we we'll skip it to 1. So 1 subtract 1 will give you 0. So our calculation is finished out. After what we have to place once only on on top uh, under under those bits values uh, uh, with which we made up the the subtraction. So it's going to be one, one and one. So rest part we'll just place with zeros, and we'll make a uh, multiplication of this row with this row, and as a result of multiplication we'll get with you uh, sixteen and 8 and 1 and rest part will be with zeros and after what we'll get the sum of this uh, row so that it to to to, uh, to check it out we'll just play uh, uh, make calculation 16 plus 8 will give us 24 plus 1 will give us uh, 25 so it means that we found uh, the result result correctly now uh, our value of 25 is looking like this. So we have to just write it here, rewrite it here. 1, 2, 3, 1, 1, 0, 0, 1. And now I have to delete this uh, row because I, I don't need it right now. Uh, now it's time to find uh, where is our bit number 27. Uh, to find 27's bit, uh, we don't have to open all of this uh, octets because we know after this uh, octet we have 8, after th this octet we have 16's bit, and after this octet we have bit number 24. So that this bit, bit's value, I mean not value, the sequence of this bit is bit number 25, 26 and 27. So our division will be done like this. And uh, what does it mean? It means that our network address uh, will be looking like uh, this value. 1, 1, 1, 2, 2, 2, 1, 7, and 1, 2, 3. And as you remember, the, the characteristics of the network address, uh, its host part will be completed with zeros. So like this. Uh, the first combination look this is the first combination and now uh, we may find what will be the last combination so we'll just write here like this 
one, two, three. It is static. You see, this part will never be changed inside one uh, network address, and this part will be changed out. The last combination will be now one, two, three, four, and five. The last combination. And it is actually the broadcast address. And this is going to be the network address. And now, here we have first useful address, which we can assign to computer. And uh, many combinations here. And the last useful address, which we can assign to computer, to host, is looking like this. Okay. Now, this is our range of useful addresses. And uh, we can represent these values, network address, the broadcast address, in the in the decimal form. So let's do it. Our network address, I'm just writing n, is equal to one 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 two 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 one seven. And if we will convert, so look, this is single octet. If you will convert this octet into the decimal, you will get so it's like zero and now we have to find what will be equal to this value to if we want to find the broadcast address so looking like this our b our b is equal to one 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 two 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 one seven and now we just have to make calculation of this values i mean this five ones from the right side and uh, to, to make it possible we'll, uh, very fast we'll do what? we'll make mapping as I showed you before and as I mentioned before the, the easiest way uh, I recommend you to use is just the mapping so you just have to place ones in a row one, two, three, four, five others will be zeros and you just have to make the multiplication first of all uh, and it, it, it seems like this values will be multiplied this values they will be same and this value will become zeros and now you have to just take the sum of this value 16 plus 8 plus 4 plus 2 plus 1 which will give you so we can just uh, do it one by one so 16 plus uh, eight uh, will give you the value of the uh, of the 24. 24 plus 4 uh, will give you the value so it's also blue color let me change the blue color to any other color like it will be better to use the white color now I think uh, 24 plus 4 will give you value of 28 and 28 plus 2 will give you so plus 2 will give you value of 30 and uh, 30 plus 1 will give you value of 31 so as the result we have the value of 31 so the value 31 uh, is going to be a representation of our broadcast address uh, and all others so let me write the, the first useful address fu first useful address will be 1112221171 because it is like you see first combination after the the very first combination and the first combination for a useful host and the last useful address so between them we have a lot of other uh, combinations it's one 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 two 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 one seven and uh, you can calculate it or you can just subtract one from 31 it will give you 30 because if you place here zero then it will be equal to 30 uh, and this is how you can make the calculation of the uh, network address, broadcast address, first and last useful address uh, according to given information and by using the, the prefix. Now, uh, we have such kind of rule. So if you want to get the number of useful hosts of uh, useful hosts, user, useful Hosts, then uh, you can use the formula which is looking like this uh, 32 minus prefix will be equal to n and 2 to the power of n minus 2 
will give you the number of useful hosts. You may ask the question, what is the, the this, where from these values are coming? Uh, this 32 is the, the length of IP version 4. It, it has 32 bits. The prefix defines, uh, so let me also write it here. Uh, prefix defines define def or maybe defines oh sorry defines uh, amount of bits amount of bits uh, that belong to uh, the network network uh, address so if you want to find a number of bits which belong to host address so you will take a look for n so defines amount uh, of bits uh, that belongs belongs to host addresses and uh, whereas 2 defines the binary if you want to find uh, the, the amount or the number of combinations in, in 2 bits for example then it will be 2 to the power of 2 whereas this 2 defines the, the number number of bits or, or you and it will give you four uh, and if you, if you have three bits three bits then you'll have two to the power of three which will be equal to eight all right and if you have this value if you found this n then you can calculate how many combinations will be inside n uh, number of bits until to be to the power of two it's, it's normal but what are this two what is it why why two because look one of these two is the network address another of these two is the broadcast address okay so they are not useful they cannot be assigned to the hosts that is why we are making the subtraction of them I hope that you understood this subject very well because uh, in future you have to know how to make the calculations very well because you will have a lot of uh, problem solving uh, according to this uh, addressing. Now it's time to uh, show you, so let, let me show you here an example of, uh, of how we can make the uh, of how we can make the configuration of the network interface card on our computer and so sorry just a moment uh, oops Uh, sorry for this because it is in Russian uh, I hope that you understand to which buttons you have to press to, to get this configurations of IP addresses and so look guys the first uh, variant which I have and which I'm using I, I, I'm just getting the IP addresses automatically by the DHCP server but in case if you want to assign IP address manually so you just uh, have to use IP address and for example you will type IP address like so let's take a look for our examples IP address which we found right now and it was uh, 111.222.17 and 1 let's write 111.222.17 and, uh, and 1 uh, and now we have to define with you the prefix so look 
our prefix is 27 because it is defining the structure of IP address but uh, I think that we'll not find it here I mean the prefix value but we'll have the value which is called the the subnet mask okay and it's 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 quite different things like a 255000 okay but uh, even the standard of writing this uh, subnet mask is different but uh, I have to tell you this thing that the subnet mask guys the subnet mask is representing the the prefix um, for example if your prefix is uh, 27 like it was in our example like here you see so then uh, we have to find also the subnet mask to make configuration of our host and uh, actually it is not so difficult to do because uh, all you need to do to find the subnet mask you have to place 27 bits uh, in a row from the left side 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 21 22 23 24 25 26 27 so look I, I just place 27 bits in in a row and after what a rest bits from the from the last octet I have to uh, just complete with the with the zeros like this so what does it mean it means that our 27 bits belong to the to the network address and the uh, last five bits belong to the the host address and uh, if you want to find out the the decimal form of this represented uh, bits so you just need to use again this uh, uh, very useful and helpful uh, table which is used to make a mapping so and you will just make like this so uh, believe me if you will uh, make calculation of this row uh, if you will make convertation from binary to decimal you will exactly have to get 255 and this is familiar 255 and it's also the same 255 but this is quite different 128 plus 64 so it will give you 192 plus 31 because it is also 1 and 192 plus uh, 32 will give you the value of 224 so our subnet mask will be 224 will be will be 255 255 255 and 224 so our uh, subnet mask so look this is subnet mask subnet mask defines a prefix this is just a different representation of the prefix and the prefix itself defines <coughs> sorry the subnet mask it's like just different representation of them uh, we use uh, subnet mask to make configuration of IP version 4 address so that is why you have to make uh, you have to know how to make this calculation like this so you see the IP address and the subnet mask and uh, now your IP address is configured so you can press OK and no problem but in case if you will try to get uh, and configure uh, as an IP address of host uh, network address or the broadcast address like 0 or 31 with the combination of the wildcard of the subnet mask of prefix 27 uh, you will meet uh, the problems like so let's let's try to do it so I just pressed here zero this is actual network address and by rules network address is not be able to be configured on the the host so if I press OK so you see uh, sorry again for the Russian but combinations of IP address and subnet masks are not available okay it's saying to us or if I'll use the, the 31 as the broadcast address so it's also saying that oh no it's not possible to use them but if I'll uh, get for example 30 so then it's okay because it is a useful address as, as as you remember so let's take a look here guys uh, the 30 is useful address and from 1t 
till 30, not only two addresses, from one till 30 are useful addresses. So we can use them inside this network. And how many useful hosts do we have inside this network? So we can just place this uh, under our the formula, 32 minus 27, it will give us uh, a result will be 5. 5, 5, it is equal to n. And 2 to the power of 5 minus 2 will give us value 30. So inside this network address, I, I, I mean inside this network, we can have a maximum 30 useful hosts. And also I have to tell you that the subnet mask is used, uh, what, what for it is used by the computer? Uh, it is used by the computer to, to do what? Uh, to calculate actually the network address. Let me show you this one and so this will be the end of the part one of this lesson. Um, and again, the same example, we have 1112217 and 25. So let me write it one, one more time here. 2217 uh, and 25. And uh, when you are writing this, when you have this IP address, your computer actually uh, uh, think about this IP address in quite a different view. It's looking for this IP address in the binary form so that uh, let, Let's make convertation of 111 uh, into the binary. So we'll have with you uh, 64 plus 32 which is giving us uh, 96 96 plus uh, Plus 8 will give us so let, let's calculate here 96 plus 8 will give us uh, 401 and uh, and also we'll add 4 it will give us 108 and 2 and 1 okay it will give us 111 uh, all right, so uh, then this is 111. So let me write it here, 111. Next will be 222. Two, two. Um, we'll add here 1 and 1. These two values will give us value of 192. And now we have to find uh, the next. If we'll add 32, it will be 224. So we don't need it. And 16 plus uh, 16 will have a zero value so oops sorry uh, let me now delete this value for now after what uh, I, I have to write it one more time so 192 plus uh, 16 will give us value of 8 and uh, 0 208 and plus 8 will give us so plus 8 will give us 216 plus 4 uh, plus 4 will give us 220 and plus uh, 2 will give us plus 2 will give us 222 so that we found it uh, the second row the second row which we found uh, represent uh, for us a value of 222 in decimal and now we have to find uh, the rest part it's a 17 it's like a piece of cake this is 17, uh, 16 plus 1, and uh, and also we have uh, 25, which we already saw, it's like 16 plus 8, it's 24, and plus 1. And now look guys, uh, this is given to us, uh, IP address with the prefix of 27, computer actually uh, knows this IP addresses in, in the binary form so that we'll just represent this uh, IP address in the binary because it is now in decimal so let me write here this in uh, decimal DC sorry decimal but we need to find the binary value so that I'll just copy these values 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and the last one will be uh, one, two, three, uh, 
four, five, six, seven, eight. So uh, this is the IP address representation, or given IP address representation in the binary form. So that um, now we we have to find the, the the subnet mask of prefix 27. So that we 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 know about it. We just need to place uh, here 27 once. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and one, two, and uh, three. One, two, three, four, five. Now this is subnet mask. So this is our subnet mask. Uh, this is our IP address, given IP version four address. Now what we have to do to find the network address? Uh, we have to make a logical operation, uh, which is called logical operation and uh, I will I will show you what will be the the end result of two values uh, two variables x and one imagine that we have uh, with you x variable and one variable and their combinations like all of the combinations which are available so that x and y or instead of writing end uh, we can write the value uh, the, the symbol of and it's like x and y x and y is uh, actually and operation is uh, looking like the multiplication like logical multiplication 0 and 0 0 0 and 1 0 1 and 0 0 1 and 1 will be equal to 1 so when you will have only ones from both sides you will get 1 so that we have to make an uh, end operation uh, of the given IP address and subnet mask, which will give us the value uh, which is called uh, network address. So that uh, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And here we have look zero, zero, like zero, 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 and and all zeros. One, two, three, four, five. This is going to be called our uh, network address. All right. So computer is making uh, such kind of operation, such kind of operation to find the network address. Okay, and uh, that is why it is. Uh, it doesn't have to look for the prefix; it have to look for the subnet mask of this prefix. So that actually, uh, this subnet mask is equal to 255, 255, 255, and 224. But well, this is the end of the part one. Uh, I hope that we'll continue with the part two soon.